The European Union countries finally surrender to the Chinese Communist Party ideas by introducing digital IDs as well as a social credit system, starting with France and Italy. Hello everybody, it's Saturday 7th of May, welcome to the first updated. The first one is going to be slightly ridiculous and uh, not really forward looking is it? That uh, Ursula von der Leyen initially pushed uh, about a year ago for this new health passports, right? They call them immunity passports. It's, it's actually a reward. If you have these passes, then we'll just be very nice to you and we will only take half of your taxes. The rest, yeah, we'll take all your taxes. Now Macron who stood on a platform of, I need to out right wing Le Pen. And, you know, he said, let's just be a right wing leader, patriotic with the flag and shut down the borders and all, <laughs> all that nonsense saying, oh, I'm pro business. I'm pro individual liberty, pro free speech. The moment he was reelected, he's now signed uh, the new uh, the policy of uh, digital ID in France, pushed by his bestie, Ursula von der Leyen and the rest of the Eurocrats in Brussels. And then this was in addition to the latest push in France for the second booster, which is technically the fourth jab. Everybody should take it. Everybody. Now, if you don't take it, then with this implementation of new infrastructure, digital infrastructure in France, then they could easily track you. And we've seen examples like this. Now, the, pr the problem I have is that like, nothing to do with, you know, your free choice. Free choice is free choice. The issue I have is when state takes control and use authoritarian measures to get what they want. It always backfires and they never learn from history. It's not just France. Italy have decided to launch this new soft social credit system. Now they say that this is a digital license for virtuous citizens. Oh no. It will have points and prizes. It will have an app. It will be nice, colorful. You didn't realize if you're pushing for virtual citizens, you're going to increase virtual signaling. <laughs> and also, it's absolutely out of control, the policies that are coming from mainland Europe. And you wonder why the United Kingdom of Great Britain and Northern Ireland is different to the rest of mainland Europe. And then you wonder why Brexit uh, happened here. It's because while, whilst there are some one-off countries in mainland Europe, the rest of them are very, very easily convinced to go towards authoritarianism, authoritarianism every single time. They always pick security over liberty, in the name of security, of course. It's always about crowd control and the whole uh, public measures that they have. So in Italy, just like what you've seen in Beijing and other places in China, they're going to be having social credit systems. So if you have a good diet, you'll probably get discounts in their supermarkets, which defeats the purpose. You're going to go get steak. And... <laughs> I don't think you're allowed to get steak because they, they, it's going to be combined with digital IDs and digital currencies in the future, which means the government will tell you what you can spend your money on. Now, you wonder if, if you think there's a joke, it's not, not just Europe. It's not just Europe. Nigeria blocked 73 million phone users, mobile phone users, because they didn't sign up to the digital um, ID scheme. Nigeria. What, why? Why are you turning Nigeria into some sort of, again, ultra-authoritarian European style? The idea is from the Chinese Communist Party, but it's such a European Union sort of thing. That's why they were so happy to adopt it. Don't know what happened in Nigeria to convince them to do I, I, There's so many obvious reasons, places like Nigeria, to, in order to control the different tribes and different gangs and different the mayors and all the, the nonsensical local authorities who can't, they, they can't even control, they think the best way to do it is to centralize everything in Nigeria. It didn't really work in Brussels, did it? It's not going to work in France, it's not going to work in Italy, and it's not going to work for Justin Trudeau long term. He's another one who did the same thing, you remember, a few months ago with the truckers in Canada? He said, if you don't go home, I'm going to freeze your bank account, I'm going to take everything you have, and this is just before, and he was doing this before the digital currencies and digital IDs. Imagine what sort of power you're giving to governments if you have digital IDs, social credit systems, and digital currencies. We're not going to be able to do anything. You have to go on YouTube, only say what they want to say. Otherwise, I'm going to be essentially homeless. I'm going to walk around just like a nutter with a leaflet outside High Park. 
<laughs> and again, I might be arrested because speech doesn't exist anymore. But uh, we're going to come back. So this is the first video. I thought I'd give you like a energy. <laughs> Hopefully not doom and gloom energy. But we're going to come back with some couple of more updates for you guys for Saturday. We're going to do lighthearted as well. But the problem is, do not blame me. There's a lot of negativity in the news. I'm trying my best. I'm trying to my best my best to actually kind of laugh at it. But if it's going to be negative, I am so sorry. I'm going to come back. Subscribe to the channel. I'm Mario TC and we are the media.